We all started the year 2020 with high hopes. Little did we know that it is going to be a tough year for the world. Here we are, looking for how to win the war against the enemy we cannot see. But even at that, wise people always find lessons in situations. Like most people, I've been following news and observing daily developments around the world. And this period has reminded me of some very important things about our lives. So I'd like to share my thoughts with you. If you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we specially invite you to join our motivational channel which was designed to give you daily inspirations so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. 1. There is no security in life One of the reasons why most people like a job is because of the security it promises. Having a job means that every month you get paid. Having a business doesn't mean the same because nothing is certain in business. While some people think that jobs and other things in life have security, Helen Keller said, security doesn't exist in life. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Just three months ago, everyone was optimistic about the year 2020. Here we are, gasping for our breath because we're in trouble. What does this tell us? Well, the only way to live a meaningful life is to focus on your purpose and be willing to go for your dream regardless of how much fear is in your heart. Because at the end of the day, none of us is saved regardless of how much fear in your heart. None of us is saved. Whether you take life easy or you dare your dreams, you're still vulnerable. So why won't you dare big things? 2. Emergency fund is important. When I was growing up, my mother always told me, don't eat with your 10 fingers. That is the way of saying, don't spend all the money you have. Eating with your 10 fingers means spending $10 while you make $10. Some people even spend $20 when they make $10, thanks to easy access to credit. Now we can all see the importance of having some amount in the bank. It's called emergency fund. Nobody knows when it will come. Just like an accident, you have to be prepared. For those of you who still have your job and businesses intact, make it your priority to keep a part of everything you earn. It's important. 3. Working from home is key. People whose jobs allow them to work from home don't only have more time to be more productive. Times like this won't hurt them that much. I've always worked mainly from home because it allows me to be more productive. For example, I woke up this morning before 4 a.m. and by 5 a.m. I was already at my desk working. You can't have such a luxury if you have to spend the next two hours to commute to work. While not everyone can ever be able to figure out how to work from home, many people can. And you look into the possibilities around working from home for you. If you have a job, you might want to negotiate a day or two of working from home with your boss. And if you run a business, you might want to work hard on making it possible that you can spend a few days working from home. 4. Everyone should have more than one stream of income. As the world is crashing down right now, some businesses will go down with the world and so would millions of jobs. We have two hands, two legs, two eyes and two ears for a reason. Two are better than one because if one falls, the other can pick it up. I read somewhere that an average millionaire has seven streams of income. I'm not advocating that you must have seven streams of income, but you can dream of two or three. This will help you when something like this happens in the future. 5. Humans are blind, never see tomorrow. Some times ago, young children in the UK were interviewed to ask what they think about Winston Churchill. Many of these children said that they think Churchill was a fictional character because he seemed too big to be real. Well, maybe it's because they are kids and perhaps not. Just look at how the world went from a little disaster to thousands of deaths and something should be clear to you. Skepticism is a major part of humans' problems. We don't seem to believe something can happen to us until it does happen and the issue about that is that usually when evil happens, we'll have to spend more time and resources to solve the problem than we should have spent to prevent them. Most nations of the world saw China gasping for breath and felt, this cannot come to us until they found themselves right in the middle of the war against an invincible enemy. You can see this trait in most humans and how they live their lives. When people are in their twenties, they often assume that their future will be fine, even when they don't do anything proactive to make that dream come to reality. We assume that tomorrow will be fine and that all danger will be for other people and not for us. But if all we do is hope or pray, we'll wake up and find ourselves right in the middle of a big catastrophe. Look for potentials and not security. Go for your dream. Don't eat with your 10 fingers. Don't spend all you earn. If you can figure out how to work from home, this can help you in the future. Set a goal to have more than one stream of income so that if one stream suddenly dries off, the others help you survive. 
overcome the tendency to wait and hope for the future to be fine. Yes, you should hope, but you should also be proactive. And just before you go, watch other videos on YouTube. If you're an entrepreneur or an ambitious person, we invite you to join our motivational channel. The objective of the channel is to give you daily inspiration so that you will have the strength to pursue and achieve your most important dreams. We call this channel Hunt TV and you can join in the description box. We love you.